Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. Your hospital ran out of large 1,000 microgram fentanyl ampules to make continuous infusions. What do you do? An alco sedation involving an opioid is recommended by SCCM guidelines for use in critically ill patients. National shortages have left many hospitals unable to get enough fentanyl for use as a continuous infusion. Converting to bolus dosing of an opioid is one way to get around the shortage of fentanyl. Hydromorphone and morphine are undesirable for use as a continuous infusion in critically ill patients due to their longer duration of action and, in the case of morphine, metabolites. Two lesser used options are IV infusions of sufentanyl or remifentanyl. Remifentanyl is still exceedingly expensive, but sufentanyl is not. Sufentanyl has very similar pharmacokinetics to fentanyl, but it's about 5 to 10 times as potent. It has been studied for use as a continuous infusion in critically ill patients. There is a small study back in intensive care medicine, 2003. Patients received sufentanyl and midazolam as continuous infusions. The mean time required to obtain a 50% decrease in plasma concentration of sufentanyl after stopping it was pretty short, about five hours. To convert a patient from fentanyl to sufentanyl, divide the fentanyl dose by 10. Some titration upward may be needed. For a link to the evidence supporting sufentanyl use for continuous infusion, head over to pharmacyjoe.com episode 235.